getting saved in our revival meetings and places we've been going and traveling around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But my friend, let me tell you, not only are souls about to be saved like we've never seen because the harvest is white, John 4, 35, Joel chapter 3, 14 again, said multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord is near the valley of decision. We're in that day right now. I'm telling you, people are getting saved like we've never before. I didn't dream about leading people to Jesus last night. I dreamed I was leading a Muslim to the Lord. I dreamed I was leading an Indian man to the Lord. Y'all remember months ago, an Indian man and an Indian woman stood here from India who had seen us on YouTube, come on, preaching around here in this church, and stopped in, glory to God, and God healed them. So I'm telling you by the Holy Ghost, amen, to see people saved, some people have to have the devil cast out of them. Amen, brother Doug. Glory to God. Some people are bound with demons and devils. They can't control themselves. They're out of control. But I want to tell you about a chief spirit.
It sounded ridiculous. It was to the carnal man. Teenage girl. Okay. Come on out. Be it unto you. In Luke 138, the angel departed from her. As soon, Pastor Doug, as she said, be it unto me. The angel said, okay. Let me leave so the answer can come. That angel brought her the messenger, and the messenger, or the message, the messenger was the angel. Angel means simply a messenger. Amen. I'm no angel. My wife is here. I tell you, he's not an angel. I am God's messenger, and you got a big howl, and I got a big Holy Ghost to you, but He's over your head. He's out of sight. He is Jesus, and you can't figure Him out. And there's more than meets your eye. You're gonna have to trust Him when you can't trace Him. That's how the miraculous comes. Before the miraculous will manifest, you will be presented the ridiculous first. Somebody shout! We need some ridiculous revivals. He chooses foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. First Corinthians one twenty one. Yeah. I've had preachers, amen, accuse me of being too foolish, and I tell them, no, oh, you're just looking at liberty. You call it foolishness, but why you still have your stale services? I'm going to win people to Jesus and cast the devil out and heal the sick in the name of Jesus. So you keep on going and have your little old stale, frail services if you want to. I'm going to be foolish in the faith. Amen. And watch God step up on the stage of my foolish faith and do the miraculous. Go about to the Holy Ghost. said shortly hereafter shall you see angels ascending and descending upon the son of man so jesus said i'm what jacob saw i am the ladder in the name of jesus angels come down and angels ascend up in the name of jesus angels come on somebody come down with answers as they cut prayers up come down. Sundays going by when I'm seeing people healed. Because everywhere in Scripture where Jesus was saving. 
healed and delivered, people were being healed. Stomach infirmities are going to be healed here today. Organs that are that are beyond repair that appear in man's eye. God's going to restore them. I'm going to go ahead and prophesy. Creator God's in the room, and God's about to put organs back that's been removed. i 